You know you have raving fans and have an idea of who they are. Well, with Engage, you can logically manage and organize these fans so you can effectively grow your list. Through the Engage page, you're able to see information about your readers such as their name, whether they're on your email list, their last comment date, or their total comment length. You're also able to do things such as moderate comments. For example, Greg's row here has a background color of yellow. This signifies that he has at least one unapproved comment. So if we click his row, we can now see his comments, and from here we can choose to approve it, mark it as spam, or trash it. We can even edit the comment we want, save it, and then moderate it. For now, I'm going to go ahead and approve it. Then I'm going to come over here and say, thanks for the input, Greg. All right, and I'm going to submit the reply. Notice the green check mark. That signifies that the comment was successfully saved. On the Engage page, you can also update and add information to readers to help organize and remember your conversations. You can do that over here on the left side. For example, I can update Greg's name. Um, I can edit his website, his Twitter ID. Um, we can do problems. We can tag him or take away tags. So I would mark him in this instance as having hosting issues and in spe specifically Bluehost. And previously, I had, I had added that he's an American expat. This is all good for later conversations if I choose to email or, or uh, send a tweet to Greg. You can also email readers from the Engage page. Smart bloggers email every person that comments on their blog with a customized thank you. Engage makes this easy with specific email templates and shortcodes. To send an email to a reader, simply click the Send Email button, then select your template. You'll notice that there are shortcodes within this template, and these are updated as you type or as you click on the message. For example, if I was to type in recent comments, I would get all of the URLs where the reader had commented recently. Once you're done editing your message, simply click the Send Email button and your message will be sent. By now, you may be asking how Engage handles readers who you have had contact with outside of your blog. Well, Engage allows you to manually add users on the Engage page as well as through a Gmail bookmarklet. To add an Engage user, simply click the Add Engaged button, then fill out the relevant information. Then click the Add Engaged User button, and this user will be added to the Engaged page. Now as you use Engage to build your audience, you're going to increasingly want to take advantage of the search functionality built into Engage. You can search for readers by their name, their email, their problems, or their user note. You can even search all fields. You can also search for comments between a start and ending date, and you can search for readers that have been marked as starred. For example, notice Bill Erickson. He has a star beside his picture. This is to signify to me that I have an ongoing conversation with Bill and that I should probably check in frequently with comments he's left and messages. One last tool I'd like to show you is the Gmail Add Engage bookmarklet. This tool is really useful when you want to add readers to Engage from your Gmail. To get started, simply come down here to the Engage Tools page. Then you'll see this button here. You'll drag this up to your bookmarks bar. All right, and then any Gmail email, simply click the Gmail Add Engage button. And this will populate the Add Engage form with their name, their email, and their Twitter ID if available. 